I don't know. I mean, as, as we've all mentioned, inflation is uh, is the big big key right now, um, and we do believe inflation is is high, and probably it'll keep on getting higher uh, in the coming in the coming months. And that is something uh, the market has to fight against, and policymakers have to fight against. Um, obviously, we have a an ECB meeting next week, and uh, and let's see what happens there. But uh, although there's only a 30% uh, uh, perspective of an increase in rates. Personally, at Becker Finance, we believe there will be 25 basis point uh, increase in those rates. Is that hike and are the current hikes added to the removal of liquidity? And that's something that doesn't get quite as much publicity as the absolute level of rates. The withdrawal of liquidity both in the States and especially here in Europe for the case of this point as well. Is that likely to compound the problems that we're seeing in the industrial manufacturing sector? And it was only a couple of days ago that I was in Italy and we downgraded growth for the second quarter to negative 0.4%. It's beginning to feel inflate, uh, beg your pardon, recessionary in many sectors. It depends on the countries. Uh, in those countries which are driven by manufacturers or services, probably we will see um relatively good figures um in the case of spain uh probably this year they will uh have the best figures in uh, in the old continent both this year and next year and basically that's going to be based on the service uh, industry um so it really depends on each country and china certainly isn't helping uh as you know the chinese growth has come from uh from domestic issues not from uh, from the international uh, demand or or supply, and certainly that's one of the reasons why uh, you know, most eurozone countries are are going to suffer more than expected. Carlos, can I ask you about inflation? Because the US is debating how they get uh, back to that 2% level and effectively just close the gap from 3 to 2 odd. But here in Europe, we're still talking about a core level over 5%. How do we get from the 5 plus percent back to 2%? What is that going to take? It's going to take a lot of things. Uh, first of all, we have to to see what's going to happen with uh, the energy prices. That's that's certainly helping. But uh, the latest figures we've had from the raw materials isn't really going to help. Uh, I mean, the raw materials are going up, and uh, you know, that's a big big part of the inflation. So it's going to take it's going to take some time to bring inflation down to two percent. That's absolutely certain. And raising interest rates isn't really the best thing. Because uh, well, right now, uh, if we look at all the activity indicators in, in the eurozone, they're already beginning to suffer. That some of them have been suffering for some time. Others, such such as uh, household consumer consumption, is uh, is going to start suffering. And uh, if we keep on raising rates uh, to keep inflation low, it certainly is going to harm the other part of the of the economy.